Yo, what's going on, guys? If you guys didn't know this, I'm a huge Nemes Kieta fan. I love Nemes Kieta. He's a guy that I was so excited when we saw that he ended up getting converted to a contract. I said for a while, Lou Cornett. You know what's funny is I, I'm buddies or well acquainted with a guy who works for the Boston Celtics. I met another person who works in the Boston Celtics, a bit younger than this guy. But when Nemes had got cut, I sent him, I was like, oh, Nemus would be a good guy for you guys to bring in. And of course, little did I know, a little bit later, about a day later, they signed him. And it's just, no offense to the Cornette, who's a solid, you know, big, and he's got some size. Nemus Kieta was one of the top shot blockers in college, his size. And what he's able to do with touch, he's just a solid rebounder, good shot blocker, great screener, like legit, just giant wall at seven foot 250 24 years old they just couldn't let him walk and of course if they feel like he's not the right guy to keep around they have a team option shout out my co-worker michael scotto for putting that out but after spending the first two years with the kings and not really getting any run because he was buried in the depth chart he's gotten you know about 26 games appearances 11 and a half minutes a night about 5.61 percent from the field four rebounds and just under a block a game and he's someone who again hasn't set the world on fire but in the G League this season for the main Red Claws, he's put up 13 and a half points, eight rebounds, two and a half assists. And that's another thing. He's a really gifted passer. He can pass out the elbow and the low block really well. You know, do dribble handoffs. That's something that I think he'll develop. I don't think he'll ever be a three-point shooter, but he's an efficient guy within the basket that's going to throw down anything. He is a decent rebounder. Not only he wish he would be better for his size, but in college he did average a double-double. But everywhere he's gone, he's been a guy who's averaged close to two blocks a game or over since going pro and, you know, like three blocks a game in college. So the thought is, is all that's just going to translate. And I don't know if he'll ever be like a huge, you know, starting level player. But with what we've seen with like Daniel Gafford in terms of just a big right there who can run up and down the court, use that seven foot size to be a finisher around the basket and really just help bring the team you know size and rebounding ability and rim pr protection regardless if he's getting blocks is something that is quite sought after in today's league so i want to hear your guys' thoughts on that one so that's it i just want to talk so like, he'll be available in the playoffs and again i i've said it before having him available instead of luke Cornette in the playoffs i think is going to be a very very big difference maker instead of you know, if Kristaps gets hurt, if Al Warford gets hurt, just relying on Luke Cornett, I think Nemus is a bit more versatile and can manage some of the bigger bodies you'll face.